breaking on. Stephen Dubner is back to talk about hand washing. Yeah, great so. Yeah, so hand washing in hospitals is particularly important because there's bacterial infections, obviously, and doctors have been shown to be the worst culprits, worse than nurses, worse than aides. Uh, a number of studies over the years have shown this, and it's and it's a real problem. So hospitals need to figure out how to solve this. So that's right. what we explore. And you say they started out with memos and yeah. lectures. Did right. it work? No, it didn't work at all. This was Cedar Sinai in L.A., and they they did you know in our meeting culture they had meetings, sent out memos, didn't work. <laughs> then they got creative and they had posses of the chief of the uh, chief of staff of the hospital go around to the wards to watch doctors whether they were washing or not. And when a doctor did wash properly, they would jump out and give them a $10 Starbucks gift card, which you would think <laughs> to somebody who's earning a lot of money wouldn't matter, but nobody turned it down. So never underestimate the power of free, no matter how much somebody's making. However, that only brought compliance up to how? About about 80%. 80%, and they needed 100% to be safe. And then they got wacky which is the epidemiologist of the hospital asked the senior staffers to lay their palms in a petri dish with an agar plate and she sent it to the lab to be cultured and they took photographs of the cultures and they were disgusting there we're seeing it those are just colonies of microbes Ooh. that are from one of the most that's from the senior staff who's telling everybody to wash then they got really creative and made that image the screensaver on every computer in the hospital when confronted with this disgusting visual data compliance changed. It went up to about 100%. Some incentives that seem very sensible don't work, or they may even backfire, whereas others, you have to try. That's It's really a, a lesson in trial and error incentives. Yeah. Right. So even with your children, you could show them something graphic, the difference between doing it right and not doing it children right. Children might respond to bribes a little bit better than, uh, you know, it, 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 it's hard to say. The, the point is, is that w human behavior is pretty unpredictable. And what we try to explore is what are the incentives that end up working. And it's often surprising ones. And often it's someone like this epidemiologist having a, a crazy idea, but out of desperation, they're willing to give it a try. Well, and you say for voting, you can extrapolate some of these things to voting as well. Does that mean Starbucks? For a vote? You know, in the old days, they used to give people a barrel of whiskey or a live pig if you vote. Now, that came with strings attached. You had to vote a particular way when they when they paid you like that. But uh, we looked at why people vote and why they don't. And in, in Switzerland, they, they changed the procedure. They sent mail-in ballots to every citizen. So you didn't have to go to the polls. Make it easy. It seems easy. You would think voter turnout would go through the roof. In fact, it went down. And the conclusion is a very counterintuitive one. It seems that a lot of people vote because they want to be seen voting at the polls by their friends or, or, or colleagues or family. So the end message to get us all to turn out at the polls in greater number if is? If I could tell you that, you know, I'd be making a lot of money as a, as a voting consultant of some kind. The, the point is, is that people vote out of the sense of civic duty, but what's even stronger is being seen as someone who has civic duty. I will say this, if and when you vote, hopefully when you vote, Remember that a voting booth is also a place where there's probably an awful lot of germs. So wash your hands after, or even better, figure out that you're going to vote for somebody that nobody else has voted for, so at least you'll get a clean lever when you pull it.